Today we're going to be talking about Canva. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here. Today we're going to be talking about Canva. If you are new, I am thrilled. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos that I do for small business tips, network marketing, blogging, stuff like that. Anything that'll help your business. So let's move on to this tutorial that's going to be a quick beginner's tutorial to Canva. It's just a simple way you can create graphics. And then I'll actually create another video that is more in depth that you can create it more like on your own. So I'm going to show you how it's already pretty much done for you so you don't really have to do much on your own. So what you'll do is you'll want to log into Canva. If you don't have a Canva account yet, make sure you create your account using my link. That way we are joined together and forever Canva buddies. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the design. So what you want to do is you want to go to create your design. And you'll want to think of what design do you want? Are you creating something that's a PDF? Are you creating something for Instagram, for Facebook, uh, for Twitter? Let's say I want to create something for my Instagram. So here you can see Instagram's right there. Now let's say I also want to do something for Twitter, something that's not there. You can do the search bar up here or you can go to the search bar over here and just type in Twitter. And you'll see that the Twitter post pops up or the Twitter header. So you have lots of options. So you can do that. But we'll do Instagram. So I'll just hit Instagram post. And what I'll do is I'm just going to hit one so I can open it up into the creator for you. And as you can see, these are actually done for you templates already. And on here is where all the templates are that you can pick from. And they're in different categories for you to choose from. So let's say... Um, I actually just want to do a quote. Let's see what quote templates are there. So they have some nice quote templates. So let's say for the quote template I want to use is I want to use this one. So it will quickly change out that template I have done. I can come in and you can see this graphic right here. I can change that graphic myself. So what I will do is I will go because I want to do my uploads or I could come in here to photos and actually search. Let's say I want to do um, something motivational. Let's do, um, let's do, um, um, let's do something win, winning. Let's see what pops up for that. Oh, I like that. That's cute, the trophy. So I would just drag that over the image. There we go. And then it catches it right there. So then it replaces that image simply. You can do that for anything that you have. You can always go to upload and upload your own image if you would like. And then here you can always come over and you see this color background. I can come in and change that background color too. So you can come in and customize this template that's already done for you, how you would like it for your website or for your social media uh, post. And it looks completely different than the template that was created. I can even come in here and change the font that they've created, the size. I can come in here, you see how this is grouped together? When I take this and it moves around together, say I don't want that grouped together, I would actually click it and just hit ungroup, and I can move it separately. So let's say I want to move it to the middle, and then I want to oops, center it. You want to highlight everything, that way you can center everything. There we go. And then down here, this is where I'm just going to put, you know, I would put maybe um, my social media handle, the Christina Schwor, um, and then I would actually make it bigger because I didn't like the size. Oh, that still don't like the size. Here we go. That's still a little too big, so I'll just shrink it a little bit right there. And then I, this gray right here, this box, I like this box, but it's so far. So I'm just going to make it a tiny bit smaller. There we go. And I'll take this and I'll just move this over in the center. There we go. This, you can do the same thing, center it up. This quote right here, I could change the color if I wanted to, but I'll just leave that. Now, say you actually want to add a border to this. So you see how you, I completely changed that. 
from what the template it was that it gave me. Let's see. Here's the template. So then let's go in here and just change some more things so you can see everything. Let's do... Uh, let's do like a, uh, uh, I kind of like the, I like the black on that. And we'll do black on this, stab it matching, and then we'll change the font. And you can come in and make this smaller or bigger. There we go. And there we go. And you can see you have your graphic. You can come in and even add your elements right here. Say you want to add a border. So I'm going to add a border right here. Make Add that to the frame of it. So, there we go, and I'll change the color of it. Perfect. So, as you can see, within a couple of minutes, not very long, we just changed a banner and made it into our own, completely different. And this is exactly what you can do with your social media posts. So, it's real easy for you to come in and look at some of these templates and say, oh, this is really cool. I'm going to take this template and turn it into my own and change the colors, change the graphics, change the size of everything. And that's really a simple way for you to create graphics quickly and bust them out, especially if you have everything written out and you're like, oh, I have these content ideas. And you're like, oh, I can create 10 Instagram posts real quick with these ideas from these templates. So I hope that this tutorial was very beneficial for you and you learn how to use these templates. Oh, I wanted to add one more thing to keep an eye out for when you do use these. Um, I don't see one right now, but you'll see ones that pop up and cost and have a little dollar sign by it. And also may have um, the Canva logo. And that means when you download it, you have to purchase it. So just be aware of that. So if you do upload that, um, if you don't wanna pay for it, then make sure you just delete that so you're, you don't pay for it. But if you if you avoid those, you don't have to worry about it. So, with that, I hope this graphic, this tutorial was very beneficial, beneficial for you and you know exactly how to go create social media graphics for your business or for whatever it is you want to create, maybe a PDF or a flyer, um, a business card. You can do this on Canva. So make sure you use my link to sign up. The link's below in the description or I popped up on the screen for you. And subscribe if you are not subscribed and I will see you in the next video.